Hello. It's nice to see you again. For today's lesson, we will learn how to identify the objects in sentences. Let's go. Take a look at this. Lara wears. Is the thought complete? No. There is something missing. What do you think is she wearing? But if we added more details, a face mask. The thought would become complete. Lara wears a face mask. The detail that we added is what we called object. What is an object? In grammar, an object is a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase on which a verb performs an action. Let us have a short review about noun, pronoun, and noun phrase. Noun is the name of a person, object, place, an animal, or an event. Examples are teacher, pencil, school, cat, and birthday. Pronoun takes the place of a noun. Here are some of the pronouns. I, me, you, he, she, him, her, they, we. Noun phrase is a group of words headed by a noun that includes modifiers. Examples. The teacher. A long pencil. My birthday. Now, let's go back. Objects add more details to a sentence. Here is an example. April washes her hands. What does April wash? Her hands. So, April is the doer of the action, or the subject. Washes is the action so this is the verb. And, this noun phrase is the object because it is being acted upon. It is being washed. And, it adds more details to the sentence. Another example. John is feeding the dog. <coughs> Who is John feeding? The dog. So, John is the subject. This verb phrase is the action. And, this noun phrase is the object because it is being acted upon, it is being fed. And, it adds more details to the sentence. More examples. Vanessa calls her friend. They have left the room. My sister wrote a wonderful poem. Now, let's talk about the different types of object. The first one is direct object. It receives the action of a transitive verb. When we say transitive verb, it is a verb that requires a direct object. Take a look at this. Sheila bought. Sheila bought what? Is the thought complete? No. Bought is a transitive verb. To make it complete, let's add a direct object. Sheila bought an expensive bag. The direct object answers the question whom or what. For an example, the cat ate the fish. What did the cat eat? The fish. So, the cat is the subject. Ate is the verb. The fish is the receiver of the action or direct object. Another example. The dog is chasing him. The dog is chasing whom? Him. So, the dog is the subject. Is chasing is the action or verb. Him is the direct object. More examples. Jane loves apple and banana. The company is considering my proposal. They are playing table tennis. The next type is indirect object. It is a noun or pronoun that appears with a direct object and names the person or thing that something is given to or done for. For an example, I can show you the world. To whom can I show the world? To you. So, you here is the person being done for. You is the beneficiary of the action showing the world. 
So, U is the indirect object. Another example. John gave Sheila a gift. Wow! To whom did John give the gift? To Sheila. Sheila is the person being given to. So, Sheila is the indirect object. More examples. She gave her students high grades. Joy brought Jane an umbrella. My boss sent me an email. The third type is the object of the preposition. It is part of a group of words called prepositional phrase. The noun or pronoun in the prepositional phrase is the object of the preposition. Examples Under the sea At midnight Between us The underlined words are the prepositions while these words are the objects of the preposition. Here are some commonly used prepositions. Object of the preposition conveys information about direction, time, or place. Here is an example. The cat hid under the table. Where did the cat hide? under the table. As you can notice, the table comes with the preposition under. So, it is the object of the preposition. Another example. The boy is sleeping on the floor. Where is the boy sleeping? On the floor. Notice that the floor comes next to the preposition on. So, floor is the object of the preposition. More examples. Micah sat beside me. They are going to the hospital. I waited until dawn. Now, let's try to identify the objects in this sentence. Joseph built Emma a fence in the garden. Can you identify them? The objects in this sentence are Emma, fence, and garden. Can you tell their type? Emma is the indirect object. Fence is the direct object. And garden is the object of the preposition. Are you ready for a short quiz? You will just identify the type of each underlined object in the sentence. Let's go. Number 1. We found the key for this door. Object of the preposition. Number two, she gave her students a long test. Indirect object. Number three, who collected honey all day? Direct object. Number 4. My niece went to school. Object of the preposition. Number 5. I bought my son a bicycle. Direct object. Congratulations! You can now identify the objects in sentences. See you in our next lesson. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the like button. Share this video to your friends. And subscribe to my channel.